Hey everyone, Chikorita here, to give you the 10 reasons why Cyndaquil sucks. Reason number 10, he's stupid. Reason number 2, he sucks. And reason number 1, he is awful. Alright, thank you for tuning in everyone, bye! Thanks Chikorita. Hey everyone, how you doing? So, uh, this is my Just Chill Out With John stream. Everything's okay? Is my audio okay? Is the is the Wii U music too quiet or loud? Let me know. But yeah, there's no real um, structure to this. We're just gonna chill out, talk about games, talk about what I'm doing with my life, and that's about it, really. So for those who do not know, um, I quit Game Explain starting yesterday, so I no longer work there anymore. And uh, a lot of people have been asking, what am I doing next? I can answer that tomorrow, so that's the only question I can't answer, uh, what I'm doing next. But, um, people have been asking why I left, and I can try and answer that, uh, in a professional way. So, th the reason I made this separate channel in the first place was because, uh, I wasn't quite making enough, um, and I wanted another revenue source to support my family and everything like that, uh, and... Something else has come along which is going to help me out a lot more. That's the general gist. Hey, Bandy. There's Bel Aim in there. There's oh, so many people. 328 people coming to watch me do an unstructured stream. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and also, another big reason. I live in the UK. Let's look out the window. There it is. There's the UK. It's all dark. Um, and it being dark is kind of inclusive of why I have to leave, um, because a lot of my working hours weren't very flexible, so I'd start work sometimes at like 9am my time, and there would be days where I wouldn't finish until like 1am in the evening, and we're talking, like that's not, that's not every day, that's not, that's not the, the norm, but if a, if a direct aired, my work days could be like, I don't even know how many hours, <laughs> very long, uh, so it wasn't very friendly to international times. So it's partly partly pay, partly time. Also partly because I have a kid on the way. So my baby girl is due in uh, November 10th, which is really soon. It's like a month and a half now, uh, and I need to be prepared for that. So that's kind of the general reason. A lot's going on right now. I'm, I, I have a baby on the way. I'm moving house in a couple of weeks. A new gig starting. It's a lot of change. And um, I loved it at Game Explain. I love the team there. Love Derek, love Ash, love Andre, love Steve, love Tom, uh, love everyone there. But gotta move on. Gotta gotta do new stuff. Uh, you, can, you guys can try and guess what I'm doing. I can't reveal it until tomorrow, unfortunately. But in the meantime, we are going to chill out with the Wii U. Here she is. Oh, she's on standby. One sec. So we're gonna play a bunch of Wii U games that didn't come over to the Switch. We can play, uh, one, let me, let me uh, change the screen over. We can play the Splatoon Global Test Fire, or we can watch um, Pikmin uh, in uh, HD. We can play the Amiibo game. There's a lot we can do. So I'm just catching up with the, there's so many people. I wasn't expecting such a turnout, so thank you everyone for coming along. I, I really can't answer what I'm doing, I'm sorry about that. You know what, let's, let's jump into one of my favorite Wii U games that isn't currently on the Switch. I'm sure you can guess what it is. It's this one! Oh, we can appreciate the Wii U's loading times over this stream. Booting into a game takes forever, especially compared to the Switch. I had a, uh, a bit of a dust, dusty disc with Mario Kart 8, 
So um, it takes me like three minutes to boot that game up. On the Switch, pretty much instantaneous. We've got some uh, some Wii U game votes. Miiverse service has ended. Miiverse and any software features that make up, make use of Miiverse are now unavailable. What are we gonna do? Honestly, I don't remember what Miiverse did in Xenoblade X. Scott series is Devil's Third. Hell yeah! I unironically quite liked Devil's Third. <laughs> I played the online a lot. Uh, what am I doing? I just want to play the game. Do I do uh, life hold squads? I have a save file on this. I'm not sure what all this is about. It's been so long. Ah, oh, this music. Yeah, so groovy. All right, so I'll try and answer some questions. If any, if any of you guys have any inquiries about what's going, I've got how floaty the camera is in this game. Look, I'm gonna press left on the analog stick. <laughs> like it keeps spinning even after you let go. Oh man, this movie. Uh, now this um, this soundtrack reminds me of like cinema lobby music. How do we escape this place? Where's the exit? I have no memory of this place. <laughs> Where's the door? Wait, hang on, I think I remember. Oh yeah, ZR is the jump button, of course. The natural placement for jump. I think there's like a door over here somewhere. I could be wrong, though. I remember even in my playthrough, even when I was really familiar with this place, I still couldn't remember where the door to escape to the outside world was. Uh, will you still still appear on Game Explain videos as a guest? Potentially, yeah. If they if they want me, it's not really my choice. If they want me to, I will. Oh, here's the door. Hooray! Okay. Uh, Belaim says, uh, "Do you, do I finish the story of this game?" Yeah, I did. I didn't do all the side quests, um, but I did a bunch of the story. The, the, all the story. I remember it ended on this really unsatisfying cliffhanger. Oh man, this music, yes. Oh, the, the entire soundtrack's amazing in this game. So is one of these my skill? It's been so long. Yeah, I remember every single time you launch off into the sky, this song here plays. And like, sometimes you only go in the sky for a couple of seconds, but you've got to hear this track. Anything else? What are you guys saying? Never played Xenoblade further than the tutorial. I don't blame you. Uh, this this is quite a... It gates you a lot, this game. Like, you play through it for a bit, and it's like you can't continue until you've done some side quests. But uh, the scale of this world is still so impressive. There's no loading times in this game, so you can like, literally fly uh, all the way around it, and it's huge. Although, if this comes to Switch, I do hope that they make these scales a bit faster, because, like, this takes a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Miltime is playing Mario 64 for the first time in his kitchen? <laughs> what? It's, it's surreal seeing people play that game for the first time. Ooh, big boy. Big boy. Uh, I want to go to, like, the, uh, the purple forest, wherever that is. That's, like, this way, right? Beautiful in there. Does it lag heavily? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this runs pretty smoothly. As far as I can remember. God, this, <laughs> this soundtrack, man. Why isn't this song in Smash? Right, let's go to the ground. Right, that's the desert. Where's, where's the forest? Where's it at? I think it's that way. But as soon as I touch the ground, this song's gonna end, and then uh, it's just gonna play like the normal music, I think. Yeah. So as soon as I lift off, it's gonna play that that pop track again. And there's no collision, so if I run into this enemy here, I'm gonna go straight through him. And it's even that way in New LA where there's a bunch of cars flying around. You literally go right through them every single time. But yeah, let's talk a bit about what I'm doing. So. Uh, I've been with Game Explain since 
2017. My first review was Skyrim. I think my first discussion was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And some of you who, uh, who are in the chat, some of you might know me from my first channel, which was Nomcoms, which is this channel. So I kind of repurposed that uh, to be my own personal channel. But since I was around 14? I don't know how young I was at this point. But I've been doing my own stuff uh, since I was a teenager. I used to just review retro games, um, and I sort of caught the, the attention of Nintendo, and they started sending me their games. So I'd start reviewing 3DS and Wii U games sent to me from Nintendo. But they didn't quite treat me like a normal outlet at the time. And I remember I would get sent, like, uh, cartridges and discs loose in the mail, and I'd have, to, I'd have to, like, send them back after I reviewed them. So they'd send me, like, a loose disc of Mario 3D World. And once I reviewed it, I had to send it right back to them. <laughs> so I was a very small outlet. Um, wasn't really treated as anything bigger than that. But one day, I uh, was reviewing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. And um, we had this, like, press lobby. So that we could all play uh, online together. And in there, there were people like Andre Seegers. There was uh, Alex Olney. There was... Um, there, there were a bunch of guys in there. Tons of people. And uh, we all played together for a while. And I didn't know any of them, um, personally, that is. I, I've been watching Game Explain for years, um, and once we finished playing multiplayer together, he messaged me privately and was like, hey, want to be on a discussion with us? And I was, I was this tiny YouTube channel with maybe like 4,000 subscribers, maybe. Um, so I was shocked that he wanted me to be on, and I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe, like, maybe I left like a good impression during multiplayer or something. But yeah, he asked me to be on. So I was like, yeah, hell yeah, of course I will. God, this, this place is beautiful. So yeah, I went on and joined him for that discussion. And from there on, I was just kind of invited back as a regular guest. So after Mario Kart 8, I think it was ARMS after that. Um, so I'd come on for that, I'd do a bunch of other discussions. I think I came on for a direct discussion with like Roger and other people. And it got to the point where I'd be, I was, I was a guest so frequently that they just kind of allowed me to be part of the team at one point. And I was finishing uni at the time. So that was a crazy good gig for me. I was, I was this guy who didn't really have much idea of where I was going in life. So I went to uni to get a degree because I had no objective. But as soon as I joined Game Explain, I was like, wait, you can get paid to talk about games? Really? <laughs> so I ended up just uh, turning that into a career. But it, it was a slow start. Um, it did take a while until I was like properly like, paid for my work. Um, which is the case with a lot of people in this industry. It does take a while to find a proper paid gig. Uh, and eventually, yeah, I just kind of... I think Skyrim was the first time I, was, I properly came on. Um, and the rest is kind of history. So I spent the last three years uh, with Game Explain. And I owe a lot to them. I grew a lot in that time. So we're just catching up on the chat. Oh, will I still post on the channel even though I have a new job coming up? Good question. Uh, maybe every now and then. It depends. Depends what they, what they're comfortable with. God, the art, the art direction in this forest is stunning. I love this. Just flying around in a like a big ass mech. Hell yeah. And because we're not on Game Explain right now, I can say things that I couldn't say on that channel. I can say the word color with a U. They wouldn't allow that. How old am I? Um, I'm 25. So I, I started Game Explain when I was 22, I think I was. I started uh, covering games when I was like 12. <laughs> Alright. Favorite Wii U feature, John? Uh, you know, I'm in this stream which can play a bunch of Wii U games that aren't on the Switch. I think there's still a bunch that are great. Like Xenoblade X, huge one. Uh, we've also got like uh, Paul Block's World, which is Pushmo World in America. Another awesome one. What's this place? Imagine 12 year old John here, um, here having this voice. Um, my voice broke really early and I was really embarrassed of it for a while. Ooh, new place discovered. Let's just kill everyone. So my uh, my main character has Adam Howden's voice. And for those who don't know who he is, that's basically Shulk. 
But yeah, I did lots of cool stuff at Game Explained. Um, we interviewed uh, Sky Bennett, who's the voice of Pyra in Xenoblade 2. Are there any Xenoblade fans in there? That was a cool one. I also got to um, interview Bill Trennan. And I I've always uh, followed the game industry, even when I was a kid. And going to E3, even though it was a pretty bad year, even though that a lot of the press got doxxed, it was still like a lifelong dream for me. I remember when I was a kid, I'd, I'd run home from school, and uh, I think Nintendo's E3 um, aired like 20 minutes after my school day ended, and I remember just like running home to catch it. Couldn't miss a moment. So actually going in person, yeah, I've wanted that for so long. Oh, yeah, Suda51, of course, yeah, that was, that was a great interview. I think Suda51 may have been my first um, proper interview I've done on Game Explain. Also, I uh, interviewed uh, Kamiya from Platinum Games. Most memorable moment? Oh, that's hard. There's, there's a lot of great moments. Um, hmm. Yeah, the PowerPoints were a great one. Uh, I remember, that was just a random discussion, I think. We're, we're predicting the Game Awards, and I brought a, uh, a PowerPoint to that. And then that came uh, our Game of the Decade format. But um, if Game Explain want to keep the PowerPoints, that's entirely up to them. I'm, I'm, I'm open for them to continue anything that I've done before. Like, Under the Super Scope is a series that I basically started with. And if anyone at Game Explain wants to keep doing that, that's cool. That's, I mean, it's a Game Explain series, they have the rights to it. And I, um... I've wanted to do more feature content. And this, this is another reason that, unfortunately, I am pursuing different things. Um... We post a lot of news on Game Explain, and it it can detract from other things. I've I've got scripts, I've got a ton of scripts that I've wanted to do for a long time, but because we're basically always covering news, I've not been able to do them. So I have an under the super scope script for uh, Donkey Kong ninety four, which I'm pretty sure I finished like two or three months ago, and uh, I just haven't had the time to record and edit it because there's always just news um, all the time. So unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to ever finish that. And, you know, I, I uh, we, we post a lot of stuff, and I, I see commenters who, who want a break from, you know, the volume of content, and I, I agree at times. But that's not my say, not my channel. But yeah. Yeah, DK94 is one of the best games of all time, and I've got to talk about it at some point. I'm sure we can do it. God, there's 600 people watching. Man, I was not expecting this. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a Donkey Kong video at some point. I've, I've also got a, a script for a Panel Depon retrospective, which unfortunately also is not going to be posted, but maybe at some point I'll do something. Because I, I have the entirety of Panel Depon now. One sec. One sec. I finally have the uh, Super Nintendo version, the Super Famicom version even. I, I have the entire series now, and I, I was only playing the Super Famicom version through Switch Online. Thankfully now, though, I can play the actual thing. It didn't have to be like this. Oh no! Big O's! I don't know what level we are. I think I'm level 49. Okay. Uh, John, how do you pronounce Yoshi? So, when I first started, I pronounced Yoshi as Yoshi, and commenters didn't like that, so I had to change my, my whole mannerism of Yoshi. But yeah, Yoshi is how I say it now. I still say Mario Mario, though, I'm not changing that. I'm sorry, there are so many comments. If, if I'm missing anything, I apologize. Uh, Master of Hyrule says, John, uh, what is your new job? Just curious. Thing is, you probably could grow this channel to be bigger than Game Explain. Uh, so I can't comment on what my new job is. I can tomorrow, but not today. Um, as for this channel being bigger than Game Explain, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, if I could, I'd love to grow this channel, but unfortunately that's just a bit too unsecure. Um, I have a baby on the way, I can't really risk that right now. If I had, if I had nothing to, uh, to support, then I would. I'd put all my time into this, but unfortunately not. Did I see Kitty Kong facts in here? Let's see. Where are you? There he is. There's Jesse. Hey. Uh, 
Uh, Miku says, how much has Scott the Was in, um, inspired your personal channel? <laughs> yeah, so Scott, I think, is one of the best guys in the industry right now. Uh, he's just, you can't floor the guy. And yeah, there's been some inspiration in there. Um, but I'd rather uh, not just copy him beat for beat. I think he's got a great format, and that's definitely influenced what I've done a bit. Um, but I, I like putting my own little twist on it, which I think I have. But uh, Scott and I are good friends, and um, he's just been a great guy to chill with. I think he and I played Panel Dip on, on Switch Online for like... I, he, was, he was here early, I think it was like two or three hours. We played for a while. Alright, so that's, that's... Oh, look at this skybox. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's move on to another game, though. There's one moon. There's two moons. But yeah, that is Xenoblade Chronicles X, one of the best Wii U games. But let's go on to something else. Uh, James says, will I ever be on the Nate the Hate podcast again? If Nate invites me, yeah. The thing is, I, I'm up for being on basically anything if invited. I'm up for being on Gaming Explain Discussions if they invite me to. I'm up for being on Nate the Hate if he invites me to be on it. But um, that's their say. I can't really comment on that. Pool Blocks World! My, one of my favorite puzzle games of the last generation. Um, this was on 3DS, but this one's like an expanded HD version. And unlike 3DS, um, we actually like, use QR codes to share your created levels. This one actually has user-made levels that you can just search for. And I think you can search for them better than Mario Maker. Let's, uh, let's see if I remember that correctly. So if we go over to... Uh, what's the online one? Is it here? Whirlpool Blocks Fair, is that it? Can we do this? As me versus- oh, I don't think we can do this. No! I think me versus killed it! No! Is that the only way to go online? There's Pool Blocks Studio, but I don't think you can- yeah. Ah, oh, man! Well, I guess you can still read QR codes, but... I think they killed the online. The bastards. Well, we can still do a little bit of pull blocks over here. So let's go. Let's go back to the beginning. Do an easy beginner level. All right. So guys, if you've not played pull pull blocks before, here is the gist. Basically, you pull some blocks. One of the best games on the 3DS and the Wii U. So, like, we hold this, we go up, and you can pull them out up to four or three times. And we can do this, and then be like, zoop, or zoop. And uh, I've got to try and work out how we do this now. So, I think, actually, let's push this back one. Come on, let's, let's embarrass ourselves. So, I need to pull this out even more. Now, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We go like this. Then we go like this. And then we go zoom. And keep on pulling. Will this work? Actually, yeah, this will work. Let's do this. And then that. And then we'll be like, green guy, you go away. And I think we can just platform up. No! This was really good in, on 3DS with a 3D effect. There we are! Great game. One of the greats. <laughs> it's a bit like Catherine? I guess it is. Let's uh, post this to Miiverse. <laughs> no! Don't crash! Okay, yeah, we can't do that. R.I.P. Yeah, this is a really good game. Please come to Switch. And then they do all these like, little themed levels here. Well, let's, let's make a, uh, a nice little squirrel. Is this Kitty Kong Country? No. No, we burned that place. So online was just full of amazing ideas. Like People just sort of made their own like, pixel art out of pull blocks. It was awesome. How do we do this? I don't know. Oh, hang on, hang on, hold the phone. No, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Let's push you in. 
Miiverse for Smash? I mean, Miiverse was in Smash, in Smash Wii U. How do we do this one? I'm sure I'm being very stupid here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hold the phone. Is there a way to... I don't know. I don't know. Chat, I feel very dumb right now. I'm sure I'm missing something very obvious. Okay, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna move on to a different one, rather than spending too much time on this. Uh, what game is this? This is Pull Blocks, or Pushmo, as you may call it, in, uh... Oh, a baby. That's what I'm having. That's what I've got coming. Okay, alright, this one looks a bit simpler, so we just go zoop, and then we'll be like... Zoop. Oh, hang on. No! Forward again! However, however, I think I know what to do. Yes. Now how do I get over there? <laughs> Alright, that's Paul Blocks. Great game. He asked me on to something else as well, though. Another great game that's not on the Switch being NES Remix. Another brilliant game. And I was, I was hoping so badly that they'll do Super Nintendo Remix, but no. Of course not. And there were two of these. Uh, let's do... NES Remix. Let's do the first one. Uh, okay. Is my new gig in gaming or in, or outside the industry? So yeah, I, it's still the gaming industry. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't give any hints, but um, I will still be talking about games. I'm not going anywhere. Don't you worry. God, these were so good. So like... There's, there's just basically challenges for a bunch of NES games, but then there would be the remix levels, which would uh, basically kind of combine them, and also, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show you a cool one. Let's find a good one. What's the one I'm looking for? I'm looking for one where basically you uh, play Donkey Kong as Link. Is that in this one, or is that two? It's one of these. Where you at? Where you at? It might, it might be in, in the second one. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's uh, let's just do another one. Let's go ahead and do uh, this one right here. So this one basically turns 1-1 one, one into an ice world. And I love this kind of like WarioWare approach to... Uh, it's not 1-1. One, one. I love this sort of challenge warrior wear approach to this. It's so it's so cool. Please come to Switch. Yeah, this is 4-1, not 1-1. My bad. There you go, speedrun! But yeah, this is just kind of the gist of the game. It's really cool. Uh Bree says, hey John, how have you and Roxy been? Yeah, we've been pretty good. Um, Roxy is prego, so, um, we've got to be careful at times. We've got to be careful every now and then. Um, sh some health problems have kind of come up. Um, she's fine, though. But, uh, baby should be good. So what's this one? What do we do here? Get to the goal. Sounds easy enough. I'm not sure what's been remixed to. It's oh, okay, there's, there's more of those little trampolines coming down. That's it. Oh no! I think 2 has, um, like Zelda 2 and Mario 3 and stuff like that. Okay, well, hang on. Let's let this barrel go. No! <laughs> Alright, one more. A baby boy or baby girl? A baby girl. Uh, she's gonna be called Amelia. I'll be far more careful this time. If this were Donkey Kong 94, we can just leap over everything. But unfortunately, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Hang on. No! <laughs> We're backing out. Am I still planning on uploading to my regular channel? Uh, maybe. Maybe we will. We'll see. I want to. Um, it, it's not really my choice. We'll see what goes on. I want to find the donk the, uh, the Mario, um, the, sorry, the Zelda one in Mario. That one's so cool. Where is it? Where are you hiding? 
Let's see what this one is. Break a falling barrel. Easy. Collect the coin. Oh god! <laughs> Where is the coin? Is it just one of those question marks? Okay, that, that counts apparently. Collect all the vegetables. Ice Climber is like the worst game. Oh Jesus Christ. Any other recommendations for Wii U games? We can do- Oh no no no! Ice Climber sucks. <laughs> Ice Climber sucks. Let's do uh... Let's think. We have um, we can do Project Zero, which is Fatal Frame. We can do uh, Devil's Third. What else have we got here? What what digital games released on Wii U? I'll show you guys very quickly NES Remix Two, which is another cool game. Uh, Tommy says Amelia like Amelia Pond. <laughs> not not named after Amelia Pond, but yeah, Amelia like Amelia Pond. Nintendo Land, yeah, of course. Uh, Nintendo Land is one of my favorite games. Roxy and I played it for like 80 hours. And uh, we just played that to death. So let's see, what, what did this game have? Anything cool in the remix section? Let's see. I love it when they mix different games together, and that's what I'm kind of looking for here. There you go, I think this is Toad in Kirby. Yeah. The jump is on the A button, though, which feels super weird. Oh no! Okay, that counts. That counts. Hey! Die! No! <laughs> Can we make that jump? How do we get ya? <laughs> no! I think I might have screwed myself here. Okay, ready? <laughs> no! Toad can't kill him. Uh, any other cool light like, remix levels? What are you? Is that Peach in a Mario 3 level? Yeah! This is the cool stuff. I wish they'll do more of this. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, this is when NES Remix is at its best, when it just kind of combines random NES games. Can Peach not float in this? Yeah, no float. Okay. That was kind of putting me off. But she can do, a, like, a Mario 3... Uh, oh, no, she did float there. What's stopping her every now and then, then? Oh, God. It's like an official ROM hack. And I'm here for it. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to another game. Um, you know what? Let's move on to the best game. For some reason, when I bought a Wii U, I bought a, a one terabyte hard drive. <laughs> and I didn't come close to filling that thing. I, th I thought I'd need it. So let's do everyone's favorite game. You ready for it? It is... It is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash! Hell yeah, baby! Uh, Mario Wallace says, always read your Twitter posts in your voice. <laughs> Thank you. So this this one court returned in, uh... In, um... Uh, Ultra, in, uh, Aces, that's the one. Just this one court. I didn't even unlock all the characters, apparently. There's Toadette, there's uh, Dry Bowser, and there's the Sprixie from 3D World, and that's literally it. And all the characters, like, using their renders from random games, like, I'm pretty sure these are all Mario Party, like, 8 renders or something. But let's be, uh... Let's be Peach. I love that Aces gave them, like, their own little outfits rather than just being, you know... Just random, like, uh, default Mario costumes. So here's our selection. We got hard court, clay court, grass court, carpet court, and mushroom court. Jeez, the variety. So I've played Aces for like 100 hours. I played uh, Ultra Smash for five? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was so basic. So basic and boring. Toad, you suck! No, wait! How did you make that? You meant to suck! Alright, he's dead. 
I remember I, I played this at, an, at a uh, post E3 show in London, and uh, back then, whenever you uh, scored one, you didn't slow down, so like, you can keep running around randomly, and there were no limitations. That was kind of fun. So the, the gimmick of this game was is the toads uh, who are on the side would sometimes throw mega mushrooms in at you. And that's it. That's the entire gimmick of this game. Sometimes you'll get big, sometimes you wouldn't. I should play online? Yeah, let's, let's see if anyone is playing Ultra Smash Online. Alright. Let's do that. Oh! There we go. Take this, Toad. There you go. There is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Let's go online see if anybody is playing. How do we quit? I, I personally play Aces quite a lot, and, it, and people do still play online in that game. Often. I, I can find matches in seconds. So let's see. Is anyone playing? Singles? Okay, singles. Any, any. It doesn't matter what we do. Should we do serious? I'd imagine ranked would be a bit, you know, more, uh, like, filled up. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna find anyone? <laughs> He's playing Gex online? Yeah, hell yeah. I hope one of you is searching right now. A Nintendo... Nintendan is here. He says, I remember the embargo for this game. I wasn't allowed to announce them, the four different characters, and Nintendo announced them anyway. Yeah, they do that all the time. I remember I was reviewing Mario 3D World, and uh, they said, don't reveal Rosalina as a playable character. And they like they had a, their own little video, like 10 factoids about 3D World, and the last one was Rosalina's playable. But you couldn't mention it in the review, despite her being like a prominent character. <laughs> We're not going to find anyone. I hope one of you are searching for, uh, for someone right now. And by the way, there is no way to play uh, Ultra Smash online apart from with randoms. There was no with friends option. So like when reviewing this game, we had to literally just search randomly for each other. But because there, there was no one else on the servers, that wasn't so bad. Uh, have I played this with Scott the Woz? I think we actually intended to play it with Scott um, um, together once. But no, we haven't played it together. Will I continue being a YouTuber? Uh, can't comment. <laughs> uh, Master of Hyrule says you can, you can still find people on Smash Wii U. Yeah, that's not too surprising. I can see that. Uh, you can also remember how heavy the Breath of the Wild embargo- Wait, did we find someone?! Is this one of you?! <laughs> Who is this?! <laughs> Who could this possibly be? Rai guy. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is very funny. No! Oh man, I, I wish we had the trick shots from Aces. That'd make things so much easier. I can't believe we actually found someone. Hey! <laughs> Please serve! This is amazing. I, I'd love to think that this isn't someone from the chat. This is just some random person we're finding online. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I haven't played this game online since the review period. Oh no! God, this sucks. <laughs> oh, I didn't feel good about that one. This is the highlight of my year, playing Mario Tennis Ultra Smash Online. No! Okay, so he's huge right now. If I just wait for a while and, and don't serve, are we serving? If you don't serve, do they do they shrink in size? Like if you just waste time? Oh! <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, Rai guy. Oh, this is so good. Is anyone else intending to play this game online right now? If so, jump in the queue. I respect the ambition of booting up your Wii U for this as well. Alright, how many do we need? One more? Match point. Yeah, I'm at one more for the match point. Oh no, he's got a Mega Mushroom! Six. You better not throw that Mushroom Toad. Match point. Oh no! Oh ho ho! Take that, Rai Guy. Receiver. I'm pretty sure I've played Rai Guy. Uh, in Mario Tennis Aces before. Z, Z Star and 40 does not own this critically acclaimed game. You gotta do better. This is a must have. Alright, come on. Next opponent. We'll do one more match. Just one more. Can we find Riot Guy again? How did none of you have this game? How could you have gone your life without this? Is it Rai Guy again? Yeah, come on! The rematch! Rai Guy, you have a lot to live up to. Cindy Bunny, so, sorry, Cindy Bun's uh, disc is scratched. Oh no, you've, you've been deprived of Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. That's a nightmare. I couldn't imagine being without this game. I can't remember how you do lobs in this. Like, the X button is doing these drop shots. How do you do a lob? Can you do a lob? You must be able to, like, neither of us are lobbing. Is there a way to do it? I'm, I'm holding, like, up in X, which is how you do it in Ultra Smash, but it doesn't work in this game. Oh, right guy, you made the wrong move. Oh, we both have got Mega Mushrooms waiting. Oh god. Oh no! Right guy deserves that. A A plus B, okay. A plus B. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, we might be able to return this. Oh! Right guy! Alright, so what should we play after this? What game, what what critically acclaimed Wii U game do you want, chat? Is Devil's Thirds Online still active? Because I unironically played that a lot back in the day. <laughs> I really like the online. Nintendo Land? Yeah, we can do Nintendo Land. Alright, come on. Two more. Smash Wii U, Color Splash, Splatoon. Oh, Splatoon 1's an interesting one. I'm sure there are people still playing that game. There's gotta be. Oh no! Right guy! Five, two. He, he earned that one. Fatal Frame? Oh god, there's so many calls in the chat. It just kind of shows you how much Wii U games there still are that we can actually argue about which one to play next. Oh! Oh, right guy! <laughs> Come on, one more. Match point. Uh, there's a comment saying play WarioWare. I assume you mean Game and Wario, which I actually bought not long ago. I've not played it yet. So that could be fun. Oh, I, uh, oh, I can just about return that. Oh my god, I can't recover. This is where he makes his recovery. Come on, Rai Guy. Is there a tier list for characters in Ultra Smash? Like, is, is Bowser Jr. a good one, or is Peach a good one? Oh, Rai Guy's at a disadvantage! 
There we are. Increasing my Ultra Smash reputation. There's a bunch of great calls in here. Game and Warrior. A lot of people saying Game and Warrior. Um, I saw a 3D World in there. Uh, because 3D World is getting a Switch port, I'd rather leave that. Did I just get an achievement for playing 20 matches? <laughs> that shows you how little I played this game. Alright. Okay, let's back out of this. Out of my Wii U gamepad battery's low. I don't know if I have a charging slot available. Yeah, I, I don't know if I do. Uh, what do I do? You know what? Let's let's uh, hope that it doesn't die and move on to a different game. Let's do let's do some Splatoon. Let's see if anyone's still playing Splatoon One. Uh, where's the disc? Where you at? There it is. I was just looking at my uh, Wii U games. There's still a bunch. There's like Kirby uh, and the Rainbow Paintbrush, which is what it's called here. <laughs> for some reason, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse didn't fly for Europe, so we had to call it Kirby, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. My Splatoon 1 disc, I think, is a bit dirty, so we'll see if it reads okay. We Fit You? Yeah, <laughs> we could do some We Fit You. <laughs> Uh, Sonic Boom, <laughs> maybe. Feel the edge of a Wii U disc? Oh, guys, Wii U discs are the most amazing feeling things in the entire world. Smash 4? Yeah, we can, we, can, we can do some Smash 4 to end out, perhaps. Am I British or American? Uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh god, we gotta sit through this. I don't know what the last time I played Splatoon 1 was, so there might be, like, an update we've gotta go through. The animations are so basic compared to Splatoon 2's. Oh, they're literally just going... And that's it. But this is a lot shorter, at least. Okay, let's see. Is anyone still playing Splatoon 1? Uh, what, what equipment do I have? So I'm using just a splatter shot. All right. Let's see. Is anyone still playing? Uh, lobby. Let's just do a regular match and see how long it takes. <laughs> this music. What? Are you kidding? Already? Already we've got we've got half the lobby in here. Who is still playing <laughs> Splatoon 1? That's insane. Anyone else? Yeah, there's there's Mario. Oh, he yeah, X's jump, that's right. Oh, I forgot about this. Squid jump. Can you see that? While waiting, you could, like, jump like this and play this, this little, like, 8-bit game. That was so cool. I miss that. Yes. I can't believe we found a complete game already. That's crazy. And this is just in a regular Splatfest. Not Splatfest. Turf War. Man, it's been so long since i played this. I'm gonna suck. But Wii U Gyro uh, still feels really good. Come on, Mario! I bet these guys playing, they've, they've got to be pros, right? Like, sticking with Splatoon 1. They've got to know what they're doing. Whereas I... kind of know what I'm doing. But not much. Oh no, I pressed B to jump! This is already getting me off guard. <laughs> Oof. Man, th there's still a lot to be offered on the Wii U. Like, far more than I really gave it credit for. And there's like, there's a bit of a distinct feeling to Splatoon 1. Like, the, it, the actual just general moment-to-moment uh, -moment feeling is quite different to 2. Like, just the way it handles. 
Oh, I got someone for a sec. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Alright, we're cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not here. Oh, ho, ho. If anyone asks, I am not here. Anyone around? Yes, there's that person. I forgot about all these 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 finishes too. The specials. There's like the Kraken as well. I'm kind of nostalgic for Splatoon 1. What's going on? This game isn't even old. But I'm feeling like really nostalgic for this. Come on, run, run, run! It's like I'm not even here. I think I saw someone over there. Oh, no. <laughs> Nearly. How are we doing? I think we might be winning. I miss looking down at the Wii U gamepad and seeing, like, how... How much, um, the, the map's beating, too. I, I know you can do it just with the press of the button, um, on Switch, but it's so cool just having that display down there. Wii U really wasn't that bad. Oh, there's someone behind me. There was someone behind me. Oh, how do we do? How do we do? I think we might have lost. Oh! It wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, Kraken was so broken in this game. I was somehow the top of my team. I felt like I did dreadfully. Alright, let's, uh, you know, let's just go around um, Incopolis Plaza and just... Just explore a bit. Just return to our memories. Wii U was the first console that I bought, or well, the first home console I bought with my own, like, hard-earned money. Um, it, I had a part-time job when I was... When, when did the Wii U come out? 2012? 2011? 2012. So I would have been... How old was I? I, I was 17, I think? So uh, this... I, uh, I'd, I'd earn, like... 400 pounds a month or something very low and uh with my first paycheck I was like yeah getting a wii u at launch and that felt really good yeah not much going on in this plaza is there you can do some amiibo go and find the squid sisters hey Yeah, there's a weird amount of nostalgia here. It's so weird without Miiverse, though. That just kind of takes so much of the charm away. Uh, we've got some people asking for a private battle. I think it's best that we just keep playing um, more Wii U games rather than focusing on one for too long. But maybe another time. Maybe another, another time we can just play Splatoon 1. But for now, let's move on to something else. So when did you guys buy a Wii U? So I bought mine at launch with Mario U, Nintendo Land. Um, I think I got Tekken Tag Tournament 2. <laughs> Actually, let's play that again. That's a hilarious one. So it's Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And what else did I get? I got a bunch of other stuff. I think I got Batman Arkham City, which had like a uh, its own little map on there. Tekken Tag Tournament 2. If you don't know about uh, what makes it special, let me show you. Let me show you Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So the cool thing about Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is it has Nintendo costumes. And um, not just like Mario in that. It has way more than that. Like you can play as Link. You can play as Captain Falcon. <laughs> Let's see how many characters we can play as. 
And it's like a mushroom mode too, like a, a super mushroom mode that you can play with. Nintendo did that kind of stuff quite a lot at the start of the Wii U. Uh, on 3DS, there was uh, Dead or Alive Dimensions, which had a, a Metroid stage in there. There you go. Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So if we were to go to just offline battle. Team battle, I guess? And uh, my, my Wii U gamepad is flashing low on battery. Alright, how do we... Okay, let's choose... How do we do our costumes? So he, this guy can be Luigi. Luigi. Zero Suit Samus. Peach. More Peach. Link. Bowser. <laughs> yeah, that's Bowser. Toad. Zelda. More Peach. Ganondorf. Bowser. Zero Suit Samus. Fox. Peach. I think that's Ganondorf again. Toad. What can Panda be? Peach? Yeah, we're, we're making Panda Peach. We've got Mario in there. More Toad. Where's, uh, where's, where are the other ones? We've got Fox. Oh, Sheik. Yeah, we're having Sheik. Captain Falcon, of course. I have Link in there. There you go. By the way, I'm not good at Tekken, so we'll just see how this goes. Am I excited for Balan Wonderworld? Yeah, looks awesome. I, I'm a huge fan of uh, everything that guy puts out. I've been a fan of Knights basically my whole life, um, so I, I can't wait for anything like that. <laughs> Oh man, they're not Nintendo themed. See, I, I don't play Tekken, so I'm going to be terrible at this, but let's just showcase some of these costumes. I think, yeah, there's like, there's uh, combos you can press on the touchscreen to just execute stuff. So let's smash these and just hope, like, hope for the best. There we are, this is how pros play. <laughs> how did I do it? Were these, um, turned off when playing online? Because it feels kind of broken. Squishy Pixel says, what did I walk in on? I don't even know. I don't know what you walked in on. Uh, play Rodea. That could be cool. The Wii version of Rodea is really good. <laughs> Alright, after this we'll move on to something else. Uh, any other questions, everyone? About what's going on? No! My pro strats! Come on. There we are. You can't beat us. No! There we are. That's how you do it. Hey, hang on! Oh, no! You leave Panda alone. There we are. Call me when you want to, um... Uh, MLG League. I'm here for you. Alright, <laughs> I don't want to keep going through this. Let's just play something else. Important question. Why does this exist? Uh, because it makes the world a better place. Do you remember Kirby and the Rainbow Curse? Of course I do. Uh, what's my favourite Game Explain moment? There's a lot of good ones. Um, my favourite moment... Uh, I, I always enjoy doing predictions, but I, I don't like when I get them right. <laughs> I, made, um, I made a tweet uh, two years ago, basically predicting uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and um, people legit thought I was leaking that, like two years ago. I'm not even sure if they were making that game two years ago. And recently I tweeted saying um, that I thought there would be a hardware revision in March with Monster Hunter, but to, like, to come in line with uh, the new 3DS and Monster Hunter 4. And a Spanish account, which had like 4,000 followers or something like that, um, they tweeted saying like, Hola! Rumor! 
uh, Insider leaks hardware revision. It, I actually like, do translate tweet to understand that, but yeah, there's now a bunch of Spanish people thinking that I'm leaking now. Let's open up Art Academy Sketchpad and see what horrible things I drew. I hope there's nothing bad in here. I, I don't remember a thing that I've drawn in this. Pixel Squid says when you when you predicted the Final Fantasy games, yeah, <laughs> and people calling me out for things like being really specific on that too. Um, I was specific because um, I said there'll be no eight, and my reason for that was because eight wasn't on PS4 either. So it was it was a bad time. Uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is very good, especially with the special status effects. I agree, Vess. Very good game. Uh, let's see, what's my portfolio look like? This is going to be horrible. So I drew a lovely tomato plant. I drew my dog. <laughs> I drew Sonic with blue arms before they, they um, made Sonic boom. So basically, I, I am to thank for that. I drew Pikachu looking at the sunset. I, uh, I think Roxy drew that. That's Doctor Who. <laughs> I drew a rabbit. And uh, what's this? That's Kirby. <laughs> so that's, those are my amazing um, Art Academy drawings. <laughs> uh, Zach Brown says, didn't you predict Kirby uh, Epic Yarn as well? Yeah. So my reason for that was, um, I think it's because um, they were porting a bunch of 3DS games at the time. Or games to 3DS. And I thought Kirby would be a very simple one to do. And it was, apparently. All right, what now? What now? Let's see what else I have on here. Uh, I've got Color Splash, but I don't think that's going to be too fun. But you know what might be quite fun? If I, did I buy anything in here? I can't remember. But Wii Sports Club, the sequel to one of the best-selling games of all time, is actually really good. And I can't remember if I bought any of the games themselves. Because the way it worked, basically, was you rented these games. Um, oh, we've got to connect to Wii Remotes. Yeah, but basically you rented these games rather than outright buying them. You could buy them, but that's not really um, how it worked. So let's see. And these had online in them, which was really cool. And I remember I played uh, Mario Tennis... Uh, sorry, not Mario Tennis. I played actual Wii Sports Tennis online a bunch. For like 20 hours. Groovy music. Let's see, did I buy any of them? I bought tennis! So let's play some tennis! Uh, I don't imagine there's anyone playing online. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. We'll wait for like um, a couple of seconds and see. But if, if it doesn't find anything, we'll just play locally. But yeah, Wii Sports had online on the Wii U. No one really talks about this. Uh, so yeah, Tennis uses Motion Plus in this too, which made it feel a little bit weird. Because like, there was Tennis with Motion uh, motion Plus on Wii, in Wii Sports Resort, but that was like table tennis. Whereas this is actual, like, full-fledged. La Tennis. We got one! And this is like, made by uh, Bandai Namco, if I remember as well. And it, it was super, like, it, it's it's good, but like, the colour palette's quite drab. Like, it's quite uh, quite basic, isn't it? Oh god, I'm missing all of these. But yeah, playing with Motion Plus is very different to playing, uh, like, normally on the Wii. I don't think we're going to find anyone. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to find anyone. We'll give it, like, 20 seconds more. Is anyone in the chat searching right now? Let's see. Uh, right guy, get on Wii Sports Club Tennis. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 running animation looks really weird in this game. Like, let's uh, let's get a close one a sec. Let's get him to come closer. That looks really weird. <laughs> Yay! Let's get one in. Right guy, are you searching? 
I don't think he is. All right, let's back out of this. Oh, uh, Ryan Guy's not coming. That's okay, Ryan Guy. I forgive you. But yeah, let's just do a regular local match a sec. This soundtrack's really good. What was your first Wii game, everyone? Like, what was your first Wii game Wii Sports, or did you play something else? Well, we gotta... You gotta sync up first? My first Wii, my first Wii game was Wii Sports, but I also bought it with, uh... Oh, my, my calibration's going weird. I also bought it with, uh... Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz and Twilight Princess. And I remember on, uh... On Wii launch day, I was up until like, two in the morning playing Twilight Princess, but I didn't get very far, because I was stuck on that part where you've got a, um, fish for, uh, for that cat, like, get him to eat a fish. I had no idea what to do. Oh, no! Because basically you fish twice, and I was there, like, what, what do you want me to do? So that took me forever. Oh, no! Okay, thank you for saving me there, man. Would have been doomed otherwise. But yeah, I played Twilight Princess so much back in the day. Ooh, and nowadays I kind of feel a bit eh towards it. Like, I, I like it. I have some nostalgia for it, but it's not my favorite Zelda game. Ooh, please save me, please save me. No, not that way. One, two. Uh, the first Wii, ga Wii game I played is what I'm asking. Uh, someone asked a clarification there. Let's just do a bit more of tennis and then we'll move on. Ideally, you'd want to play uh, this game standing up. Ooh. Because it's not really a waggle game. You're meant to like, properly align your shots. Ooh. No. I'm messing this up. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Just hit the microphone. Sorry, everyone. All right, this is this is Wii Sports Club Tennis. <laughs> Let's back out of here. Uh, Pixel Squid says, "What's my first Zelda game?" So when I was a kid, um, my first home console was a Dreamcast, and my first handheld was a Game Boy. But after the Dreamcast, I went went on to PS2. So I wasn't really a Nintendo kid when it came to home consoles for a while. Um, but my friend owned a GameCube, and he had Wind Waker with uh, Ocarina of Time. And I would often go around his house and just sort of watch him play Nintendo games, because I didn't have access to them. And um, we like we both leaned towards Ocarina of Time, like, despite Wind Waker being the modern, um, like, colourful, vibrant, beautiful one. We thought Ocarina of Time was just this, this such a vast, beautiful world. So my first exposure was Ocarina, and I, I wanted to play that game myself so much that I went to a retro game store, and I must have been like 10. I bought an N64 just for Ocarina of Time. And uh, I was so hyped for Twilight Princess at the time too, so that was like right before the Wii launched. So my first game was Ocarina of Time, but it was, it was out of anticipation for Twilight Princess. Uh, so that was my second one, so Ocarina, Twilight Princess. And then on Wii launch day, I think I downloaded Zelda NES as well, and I played that game so much too. And at the time, I even preferred Zelda NES to Twilight Princess, even though that was a brand new game. So, yeah, that, that kind of went from there. Um, Virtual Console gave me, like, my exposure to um, A Link to the Past. I'd then buy Majora's Mask on N64, and the rest is kind of history. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll put, I'll put it on full cam a second. But Zelda is one of my favorite franchises of all time. And let's just put it over here. This shelf over there has my Zelda collection. And on that shelf is every uh, every game, basically. I'm missing a couple of... Of like uh, off kilter ones, like I don't have um, Tingle's Balloon Fight, but I do have Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. I have the Japanese version of Four Swords Adventures, which has uh, the um, Na Navi Tracker, which is like a uh, a fully voiced Tetra mode. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, Zelda is my favorite franchise. I've I've got basically every Zelda game. Um, will it be sorry? Will it be easy to see you on the internet with your new job? Yeah. Yeah, it will be. Not much is going to change. Uh, did the GameCube port run at 30 FPS for Ocarina? Um, I think it may have. It was definitely more stable than than um, 
the N64 version. But Majora's Mask wasn't. The, the Zelda collection on GameCube, for some reason, ran worse. Triforce Heroes? Yeah, I, I, actually, I actually really like Triforce Heroes, honestly. I know it's got a bad rap, but I think it's quite cool. Do I have CDI games? <laughs> That's my one um, blank spot. I have the Zelda uh, an animated series, but I do not have the CDI games. How much Metroid have I played? All of them! <laughs> I have, yeah, every Metroid game. Um, the one I haven't played the most is the original Metroid 2. So I've played, I played Samus Returns, but the Game Boy one I never really liked much. But yeah, I've played every other Metroid. Uh, can I run PS2 games at 60 hertz? Some. So it's, it depends on game to game, but um, some do support 60 hertz. A lot of them don't, though. Zelda Game & Watch. At my parents, so I can't show you that now, but I do have it, yeah. Did you play Triforce Heroes solo? No. I think that's a pretty bad way to play the game. Like, you've got to play online. Or, or multiplayer, like local. It doesn't matter which. But yeah, that's, that's a multiplayer game. I wouldn't recommend playing solo. Am I playing Smash Wii U today? Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. My, uh, battery's low on the gamepad. So let me see. Do I have a GameCube adapter somewhere? I might do. Yeah! So I can just play with the GameCube for now. Yeah, let's do Smash Wii U. Opinions on new consoles, uh, being, well, PS5 and Xbox Series X? Uh... I'll have a bigger opinion on them when they have more games. <laughs> One sec. And now we need Smash. My Wii U gamepad has officially died, so we have to use the Wii Remote. But yeah, opinion on new consoles. I think um, PS5 looks very promising and will probably have a very promising future. But I am very off-put by game prices. I think um, $60 is not bad. $70, again, not too bad. €80, Euros, though. That's pushing it. Uh, 80 euros, for those who don't know, is 95 dollars. Uh, and that's too much. I think seven, and that's also 70 pounds, which is a 20 pound increase on what they are at the moment. So it's far more than 10 dollars in Europe. And, uh, that puts me off a lot. And it kinda, um, incentivizes Game Pass more. So on that, for that reason, Series X is kinda looking to, to be my, my, my main console for that gen. But, uh... How do oh, there's online. I was going to go down here for online for a second, but it's right over here for some reason. Uh, Master of Hyrule says, give me five minutes. Alright, we'll play with a random person for now then. Am I confident about the Switch's future? Ah, oh, I love this. So let's do with anyone for glory. One on one. Yes, I am confident about Switch's future. I think um, Switch doesn't directly compare with either of those consoles. Um, being portable gives it a lot of... Oh god, this this looks so tiny! <laughs> you look so small! Look how small you are! Uh, let's go with... I can't remember who I'm good with in Smash 4. It's been too long. Let's go with Ryu. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I can't remember. Uh, Neku says FF6. No FF6 for John. Yeah, I, I probably will play FF6. I, I can't say I'm too excited for it, though. Weirdly. God, this feels so weird. Everything just kind of feels a bit slower. I tried doing an air dodge, and of course they're not the same in uh, as in Smash Ultimate. I'm not used to this one bit. This is jarring. People say that Smash uh, Ultimate was very iterative. 
But like going back to uh, Smash Wii U though, this feels so weird. Oh, that could have hit me. Oh, he came right into that. It's weird not having those like big KO effects. Like, it doesn't feel as impactful. Everything's just a bit more floaty for some reason. Oh god. Yeah, this feels so different. Oh, you went right under that one. Oh. And we'll play Master of Hyrule in a second after this match. <laughs> oh! There we are. It's been so long since I've played Smash 4. I don't think I've touched it since Ultimate, apart from like some video comparisons. Play Smash 3DS online? Maybe another time. I kind of miss this matchmaking. Like it's so. I, I, I like the variety that there is in Ultimate, like being able to select different uh, sort of playlists, not playlists, like different options. But this simplicity of just for fun, for glory, that worked. That was cool. Uh, is Master of Hyrule ready yet? Let's do one more. I'm not sure if I have Master of, of Hyrule as a friend on this. And my Wii U gamepad is dead, so I don't know <laughs> if I can add him with ease. Uh, let's go. Oh, Charizard's not on, on his own! Oh no! Let's go with... Hmm... I can't remember who I'm good with. Let's go with Link. Where's Link? He's over here. So we have to wait for someone now. Ah, oh, you can go straight through them too! Like, in Ultimate, you just kind of push them. Uh, Adil says, uh, I had a dip at Pushmo. What games has John played? So we played, uh, we played Pushmo, we played Splatoon 1, Smash 4, uh, NES Remix. What else have we done? We've done a few more than that. Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Link has always looked really weird in this game. I think it's his hair. Like, there's something just very weird about that hair. We're not finding anyone. Master of Hyrule, if you're waiting, just go into For Glory 1 on 1, and you might find me. Oh, yeah, we Sports Club, Xenoblade X? Yeah, we've done a few things. Play Bayonetta? That's on the Switch, though. We don't do just, just Wii U games. Well, last time finding a game was instantaneous. I don't know what's going on this time. Oh, let's, uh, let's just quit out and try searching again. Oh, no, I found someone immediately! No! <laughs> oh, no. Let's see if we can find them again. Just at the wrong moment. Uh, Victory Star says, Hey, John, um, how are you and Kitty Kong doing? I still hate him. He's still the worst. Kitty Kong to me, I just want to shake him and ask him what he is. What are you? Why are you like that? Why are you the way you are? I haven't really played much of Link lately. I didn't really like how he played in Smash Ultimate, so I'm not really that accustomed to him. But I played him a lot in previous Smash games. But there's something about how he plays in uh, Smash Ultimate that I don't like too much. It's weird not having perfect parries, too, with the shields. Everything's different! Everything is different. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there's there's no impact hitting someone far off the edge. They just kind of fly. Oh, the gravity's completely off. It just feels so slow. Like when you hit them, th there's no impact. DK, please. Oh, <laughs> bye, DK. Uh, best 3DS game in recent memory. Um, I'd say my favorite 3DS game is probably A Link Between Worlds, but Kid Icarus Uprising is a masterpiece for that system. Let's find another uh, opponent. But also, I think Dragon Quest VIII, um, even though that's a PS2 game, my first exposure was on 3DS, and that's such a good RPG. One of my favorites. A uh, sad me- No, we don't want- We don't want you again, Leech! We're another person! What's my opinion on the existence of Tingle? He's a good guy. He's a good- He just wants- the, He just wants the best. He wants to be a fairy, and I respect that. Uh, let's be... Cloud. Will I play DKC2 when it comes out? Hell yes. Um, gonna miss you in GX, John, but happy to know that you'll still be around. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Don't don't worry about anything. GX is still gonna be great. Um, they're gonna do their own thing like they always do. And they, when I joined, I think they had 700,000 subscribers or something like that. So they're gonna be fine. And now they have what 1,000? Oh, sorry, 1, 400,000. So it's more or less doubled since I joined, but um. That's probably attributed more to the Switch than it is to me. When we when we finish this match, I want to go in photo mode and just show you how weird Ganondorf looks. His face is so weird. Hey, 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 Lucina, no! This is a, a nitpick. I hate how the character portraits look down there now. I'm used to them like, being 3D on Ultimate, and it looks so weird now. Oh no, why did you- why would I do that? No! Lucina, please be kind. Oh, okay. You were pretty kind. Oh wait, no! I did an air dodge thinking that that would give me some momentum. No! Lucina, hey. Be kind. Oh. Okay. Oh, I also tried doing a, uh, just like a hop into a, an attack, and you can't do that. That was an ultimate thing. There are so many nuances in ultimate that, that this game didn't have, that you kind of take them for granted. Oh, nearly. Alright, come on. Come on. Is that it? There is no impact. <laughs> there is zero impact there. Let's see. Did Master of Viral say anything since? Alright, I'll give you my friend code. One sec. Let's let's see if I can actually turn on my uh the menu and give you my friend code. Got back out of online? So, Master of Hyrule, my friend code is... Oh, I've received a friend request. Is it from you? Let's see. I've got a friend request. It's from Raigai! Hey, Raigai. Oh, wait, there aren't friend codes on the Wii U, are there? There's usernames. So, my username is Johnny. J O N N E H. So if you want to add me, um, and then you can just hop on in. I would add you, but my Wii U gamepad's out of battery, so uh, balls in your court. <laughs> I totally forgot that Wii U didn't have friend codes. But yeah, while we wait, let me show you Ganondorf and how weird he looks. All right, so there's Ganon. Looks pretty fine in that picture. That's fine. 
Let's go to our favorite one. Uh, Mevus. A stage that didn't return in Ultimate. Right, so right, here's Ganon. And his face is so weird. Let's 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 beat Ness Let's be let's kill him. Let's uh, let's back out a moment. Let's do a very quick kill of Ness, and I'll show you how weird Ganondorf looks. So Master of Powers added us, and I'll accept that in just a sec. Just gonna kill Ness a moment. Let's all laugh at Ganon. What will my kid's first game be? I've thought about that a lot, um, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to, like, force my my own history on them or not. We'll see. I probably will. You look so weird! Why is your face like that? There's there's uh, one celebration where he's like, ha 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 ha, and it looks, it looks so jarring. Let's see. Apparently he's added us. Let's go have a look. Survival. Make it pound a pun. Hell yeah. Here we go. Master of Hyrule. Oh, we got four requests! <laughs> Let's just accept them all. Yep. You guys are still hanging on the Wii U, aren't you? I'm assuming that's Master of Hyrule. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this much uh, Wii U love. But there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna hop online. And, uh... Oh, wait, no, we are still in Smash. Whoops. So, online. To be honest, I've never found Smashes Online to be that bad. Like, I, I know there's probably latency in there, but in terms of just pure lag, I don't think I've let everybody have it that bad. Sulu? Uh, is anyone playing online right now? Guess I'll start one. So we're gonna do three stock. That's all we need. Now we'll turn that off. Wait. There we are. Is is there a way to adjust like items? How do we do that? Is it just stock? <laughs> Other items? I don't know. Alright, let's oh who, who we got here? Diego. Diego's in. Right guy? Any room for Master of Hyrule? Well, I'm gonna be... I legit can't remember who I'm good as in Smash 4. Let's go with Ganon. And we're, I'm gonna select another stage that wasn't in Ultimate, being... Woolly World. There he is! There's also DKC Returns that wasn't in there, and a, um, a Metroid stage, and a Star Fox stage. I'll click the stock button. So there may be items in this? I don't know. We'll see. If there are, I apologize. Uh, Niffle says, I'm gonna go, but uh, it's been fun, and uh, have a good rest of the night, John. Thank you very much. Just waiting on Master of Hyrule. Poor sandbag. There we are, here it comes! Alright, <laughs> is Ryko gonna be Bowser Jr.? Maybe. Oh, we got two Ganons! Three Ganons? No! <laughs> what are my taunts? This is what my taunts are. Nikki. I don't know who Nikki is. Oh, the Nom. 
Oh, Nikki was the street pass and the, uh, what was it called? What's the 3DS messaging called? I don't remember. My, my friend loved Nikki so much. That was just kind of to taunt him. Swap note! That's what it was called! It was called Swap Note. Oof. I just realized Tetris is playing. It's so weird that Tetris plays on Luigi's Mansion. Oh! No! <laughs> right after I was bragging there. Oh! Is that a kill? <laughs> Amazing. God, there is zero momentum with these staggers. Oh! Nearly. Oh! Sorry, Game & Watch! And... Now, one of us is out. <clears throat> oh, Game & Watch! Oof, I deserve that. Okay, one Ganondorf still has two stock. Gotta focus on him. Or die trying. Oh, nearly! Nearly got the up smash on him there. Come on, Game & Watch, let's get him! Not many more. Go on, Game & Watch! Yes, yes! Oh no! I'm staying over here. We'll let Game & Watch deal with that. There we are. Okay, I'm backing away. Okay, no, please! Oof. One good hit will take me down. Alright, back away. Oh no! I'm out. Come on, Game & Watch! Take him down! Nice. I'm choosing a different character. At the very least, there were no items. Alright, come on, Master of Hyrule. You've got to reclaim your victory. I'm gonna go... with... Let's go with everyone's favorite character. Dark Pit. Is Smash Ultimate Smash 6 or Smash 5? I think it's officially Smash 6, right? But, um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, call you out for calling it Smash 5. Where's my water? Here it is. Twilord says, John, do you think you'll still play along with Game Club at home? Depends how much time I have. Uh, maybe for some games, yeah. I know Bloodborne was nominated for one of their Game Clubs, so if they do that, then maybe I would. Uh, Dibono-san says, why did I leave Game Explain? I kind of answered this at the start, um, but partially time, partially pay partially working in America. So <laughs> I want to I want to work in the UK. I want to work better hours. And um yeah, that, that, that's kind of the gist of it really. Be it, it'd be easier for me now I have a baby on the way to uh oh, I hate this stage so much. <laughs> to work uh much easier hours. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that dad who works, you know, like until 2 in the morning, right? I want to be around for my child. Yeah. 
Oh no, there are items on! No! I- I- <laughs> No! Back that way! Bye, Bowser Jr. I'm just gonna stay over here. Keep my nose clean. Don't come near anyone. I, I legit hate this stage. I, th I think it's awful. I hate playing it in Smash Ultimate. I hate that this is the Pac-Man representation too. Music's pretty good, though. I just realized I'm the only one with a stock look, or with uh, three stock. Let's just run over here. This stage is pretty good for the Dark Piss, at least, because I can just, like, fly through all the obstacles. Oh no! Vegas Master of Hyrule. Oh, he's alive! How did you survive? Explain yourself. Let's just back away over here a sec. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Let's wait for another beetle to spawn. <clears throat> oh no, it just goes over it? I thought it was going to rebound! Does it really just go over it? Alright, that's it, the end. Alright, let's, uh, let's turn items off this time. Master of Final's playing with a Wii U gamepad. That's his excuse. <laughs> I'm playing with a uh, NES Advantage. Okay, it's not my, uh, not my go to choose how the playlist works. Let's go with... Hmm... I don't know. Uh, who have I not been yet? Let's be uh, everyone's favorite, Charizard. Okay, Ret Retub says, John, I want to know what franchises you want represented in Smash that aren't already. This one, um, I'm not sure if it counts. Panel Day Pond, though. Um, there is already a lip costume. There's already a music track. There's already a Kirby transformation. However, I want a stage. I want a playable character. I want a hundred tracks, even though there are only like ten tracks in the entire game. I want everything. But <laughs> Pound Apon's a big one for me. Um, also Puyo Puyo Puyo. I think it'd be awesome to have in there. Rock Smash! Why this stage again? No! Who is choosing this stage? Who are you? Rock Smash! We gotta love Rock Smash. Rock Smash! Rock Smash! Rock Smash! Rock Smash! No! Rock smash. Rock smash. <laughs> rock smash. <laughs> rock smash. Uh, rock smash. Rock smash. <laughs> uh, rock smash. Uh, rock smash. <laughs> no. Uh, rock smash. Uh, rock smash. 
Rock Smash. Hey, Rock Smash. What Smash? Rock Smash. Oh no! <laughs> it's my demise. A Rock Smash. Okay, I've got to be careful. I only got one more stock. Okay, Rob is very close to death. Rob is out of here. And... Uh, rock smash. Oh no! <laughs> right, let's, let's get back in the center. Rock smash. What smash? Rock smash. Come on! <laughs> Me and Low Tier, we're rivals, he and I. A rock Smash. Rock Smash wins, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm, I miss Rock Smash. <laughs> okay, no more Charizard. <laughs> Let's do two more matches. Just two more matches. Alright, I'm gonna be Mega Man, Ash's favorite. Cool Kid says, take a shot every time he says Rock Smash. Don't do that, you'll be dead. You will be dead. Will says, hey John, how are you? Really good to see you streaming. Are you joining a new channel or building your own? I can't comment, but um, I, I'll be joining something new. That's all I can say. You should have used more Flare Blitz. I should have. I really should have. Female Corrin? I'm not a big Corrin fan. Um, I, I definitely prefer female Corrin to male Corrin, but... Corrin's not my favorite. I don't really have an attachment to Fire Emblem Fates. Um, I, I like... I played Awakening, so I, I like, like, most of the Awakening characters, but... Something about Corrin never just really clicked with me. At least Corrin's a bit more interesting than, like, um, like Martha and Roy and, and Lucina, because they're all kind of the same character. Corrin's something new. Oh god, we got these again! No! It's cool. No, it's not cool! It is not cool! It is very not cool! No! I probably could have survived that. No more Roy! No more Roy! Is Roy master of Hyrule? We've had enough of Roy. Roy is not our boy. No more Roy! Yes, no more Roy! Oh god. Who's got a beetle? Has anyone got a beetle? Where'd it go? I think Game & Watch might have one. No, it's just gone. Okay. No more. No more DK! <laughs> oh, he survived! Okay. I remember one-on-one -on -one matches in Smash 4 were literally just dodge, dodge, dodge. You'd spend so long just, like, dodging the entire time. Ooh. Alright, that's Master of Hyrule gone. Oh, TK! <laughs> oh, that would have killed him. Oh! <clears throat> the physics are so weird in this game. I could have sworn I was going to die there. Alright, 
Ah, it's alright. We're alive. Okay, come on. DK only has a tiny bit left. And... Oh, I thought that might be the end. Not quite, though. Not quite. Oh, no! No! <clears throat> Losing my voice a tiny bit. Oh, God! Stay away! Alright, that's DK gone. Just me and Game and Watch now. Hey, don't do it! Don't you do it! No! Game and Watch, please! No! Alright, the final match. The final Smash match, and then we'll move on to one final thing. Uh, Ram says, thanks for the stream. Us Europeans gotta go for bed. It's it's uh, midnight there. I will oh no, I don't want to be Mega Man again! No! Can we go back? I think we can. Well, thank you for tuning in anyway. Appreciate it. We are gonna be... Let's see. Let's be... Lucina. Try Palutena? Okay, yes, let's be Palutena. She is different between Smash 4 and Ultimate, you're right. And I'm, I'm still gonna vote for DK. One day it will choose it. Can I play Mario Kart 8? Uh, I could. I don't feel like it's different enough to the Wii U version, though. God, yeah, it is different, isn't it? There's no, uh... Is there no explosive flame? What else is different? Oh yeah, she has reflect and also a counter, and I'm pretty sure they changed how uh, how counter and how counter works in Smash Ultimate, right? Well, let's see how this goes. Yeah, DK! Hell yeah! The best stage. It's back. Hey, let's follow, let's follow Game & Watch. Let's go behind the scenes. No! <laughs> I want to go back over there. There we are. Come join me, everyone. Well, let's stay away from Game & Watch. We don't want anything to do with that beetle. I used to play as um, Palutena quite a lot, but it's been a while since... Uh... Oh no! Okay, I'm alive. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, really played a server. Especially in uh, Smash 4. Oof. Why isn't this stage an ultimate? I hear some people say it's because of... Ooh, because of stage transitions. And perhaps, but uh, like Smash like turns off a lot of things for different reasons. So I don't see why this can be one of those things that gets turned off. Like, it turns off items and assist trophies for different stages. So Reflect is going to come in very handy when it comes to beetles. Let's back away. Let's join Game & Watch. Oh, Luigi, no! Do you guys remember um, Luigi's final smash in Brawl? Where everything just kind of turns green? Oof. Is this full stock?
God, I'm terrible as Palutena. You know what this game misses? Pichu. Where's Pichu? Ooh. There's something about 4 that just feels so slow. Oh, by Game Watch. Like, just now we're in a big 4 player tussle. And it just didn't feel like anything was really happening. Game & Watch is literally on his own right now. Let's go and join him. Make him feel more at home. Oh, there he is. Oh, Luigi! <laughs> no! No! Oh, we're out. We're out. Oh, who's gonna win? Little Mac? Or Mr. Game and Watch. Who's got this? My bet's on. My bet's on Little Mac. One thing that bothers me with uh, DK stages in Smash is every single one of them is a jungle. And DK is so much more than that. Like, imagine Grassland Groove in Smash. That'd be so cool. Well done! Well done, Game & Watch! Master of Hyrule says, Sorry, John, for the Beatles being on. I realized I forgot to turn them off. No worries. It's cool. They made, they made it kind of more dynamic. Before we leave uh, Smash, though, let's uh, peruse the trophies. Because that's something I do miss from, uh, from 4. Yeah, I bet on the wrong horse. So where are trophies? Are they in, uh... Where are they? Games and more? The Vault! Here they are. So I didn't get them all in Smash 4. I have them all in Ultimate. Well, I have all the, uh, the spirits, even. But if we go, uh... By, uh... What's the best way to view them? By category? I want to find Rayman. If I have him. So Inkling had a trophy. Even though they're not playable. As did uh, what the uh, wonderful 101. Lost Story. Captain Rainbow. So how do we... Let one say. Let's go back. Let's go back. If you're at a gallery, let's go to other for my series. Lipstick from Panel to Pond? Huh. Do I not have Rayman? Guess not. This us be Final Fantasy's vast array of trophies. <laughs> Got Zelda with Weirdo Dorf. How do we zoom in? Oh, there we are. God, this feels weird. There he is in all his glory. Who else we got? We got Tingle, Midna, got Zelda. Everyone's favorite. Old woman. Who may be another person. I just... I forgot entirely about Other M's uh, plot. Like, she was, like, mo uh, Mother Brain, right? Or something like that. Something like that. It's like Mother Brain reincar reincarnated. I don't have Rayman. There's Dark Samus. So, yeah, let's go on to one more game. And this one, I don't have to charge my Wii, my Wii U gamepad for. For it is not a Wii U game. It is another game. It is a Wii game. One of my favorite Wii games. Whoa. 
cause a mess with my shelves? What is this game I hear you ask? Well, it wasn't originally a Wii game, but there was a Wii port. And it's what I would call one of the best games of all time. Where's my nunchuck? Here it is. Any guesses what this game may be? It's not my life as a king. I wish it were, but it's not. Unfortunately, my Wii games are on my... My, my virtual console games are on my Wii. Whereas my Wii U doesn't have much. Yes, yeah, Skip got it! Resident Evil 4! Hell yeah! Here she is. Resident We're Evil. gonna do some mercenaries. Just a very quick um, mercenaries. People got it! Yes, yeah, 4 Hell yeah! One of the greats. Uh, this was my one of my very first uh, mature games. <laughs> I was quite young when I first played this, and I remember going into a game store, uh, going up to the counter, and, like putting on my my most adult voice that I could. I'd be like, "Excuse me, ma'am, I'd like to purchase this Resident Evil game," and she was like, just sort of looked down at me and was like, "Okay, kid." <laughs> I must have been like twelve. Did I not unlock everybody? There must be a different save file. I want to play as Wesker! Oh no! Let's just be, let's be Ada. I played this so much um, on Wii. I must have played this for over 100 hours. And on, uh, on Switch, I think I played it for over like 30 hours. It combined, I must have played this game more than many other. Oh, where's my cursor? Oh, there it is. I'm quite close to the sensor bar. Let's move back. Let's move back a little. The Wii control scheme is one of the best of all time. Look how, look how easy it is. Just go up. Just go up. Just go up. He's not taking any shots. Why aren't you dying? But anyway, let's not use the handgun. Let's use the TMP. There we go. Let's get a combo going. So I'm like literally... Uh, uh, I say like a foot from the sensor bar. Not far at all. Probably too close. But my favourite character in this is without a doubt Wesker. He is so fun to play as. Oh no, my god! Oh, it, it's alive. We're going. I remember playing Resident Evil 5 online. And um, the most American guy I've ever played with uh, got really upset when we lost our combo. And he went, oh no, my combo! I was like, dude, it's my combo too. I hear a chainsaw guy. Where is he? How close is he? He feels really close. Let's get the sniper out. Oh god. We lost our combo. Oh, there's two of them! Oh god. Oh Christ. Jesus! We gotta get some time. Oh no! Let's uh, quickly use this egg. Okay, I'm gonna ignore everybody a moment and just quickly get some more time because we're running out. There's no time in here! Oh no! Okay. Alright, this, this doesn't look good. I thought there was a... I could have sworn that there was a timer in there. Okay, we need round two. We gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. Okay, this time, I'm not gonna kill anybody. I'm just gonna run around, get all the time that I can, and then we try and survive. How's that sound? Please do the accent more. <laughs> When I was at E3 with uh, the Game Explain crew, I tried putting on my most like New York accent I could. Oh, like, bull freaking ho! Ah, oh, oh, forget about it. Ah, oh, bull freaking ho! There's some time. That's what we want. I need to sit further back. I'm still too close.
The, uh, inf the invincibility frames in this game really do make it. Like, if 4 Remake doesn't have those frames, it's going to feel so much worse to play. Now, where's, where's the other time? I think there's some in this hut here, right? Oh, ball freaking hell. Okay, now we have about five minutes on the block. Oh, this should be enough. Hey chat, who's played Resident Evil 4 before? Has anyone never played this game? If so, why not? What's your excuse? One of the best games of all time. Okay, we need some more ammo. Okay, here comes, here comes the chainsaw! Alright, let's... Oh god, she's close! She's close! Oh, we just about made that! Oh god, okay, run away, run away. Let's, uh, throw a grenade. There's two of them again. Alright, she is still on my ass. Oh no, I'm missing, I'm missing all of these shots! Oh god. Okay, let's, let's run. We're okay, we're okay. Let's quickly reload. I've got a plan. It's a good plan. Oh god, we're out of ammo! No! It's not that good of a plan, apparently. It's an okay plan. Okay, there's lots of ammo down there. We are literally on handgun ammo now. Oh god, she's coming! She's coming! She's coming! Okay, we've got to get some of that ammo down there. Wait, where'd she go? Did she die? What happened to you? Okay, we've got some handgun. Got some TMP. Oh, we're okay. We're in the clear. Did she just die of, like, old age or natural causes or something? Yeah, I think- oh, 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 she's alive still! You are alive. Okay, we got grenades. More TMP. Anything from you. Oof. Let's quickly heal. Okay, what we need now is just some more rifle ammo. What's my view on 3D All-Stars? Good question. Uh, I'm not two minds on it. I, uh, I think the games in that collection are still tremendous. I can't fault the games. However, I think they definitely could have done more with the collection. There's no doubt about that. Um, I mean, these, these are some of the best games of all time. They do deserve the best treatment. Especially given there's pedigree for that. Given that, um, the original All-Stars was, like, a collection of remakes. So I feel like they could have done more, but I'm still happy to play that collection. Which makes me feel a little bit like a hypocrite, I guess. Because I want it to be better, but I'm still happy with what it is, if that makes sense. Even though it probably shouldn't be. Did I miss everyone? I might have just missed everyone there. How are you still alive? Oh god! <laughs> oh, there's more time. Should we go for it? Alright. 
I'm still running so low on ammo. Okay, we literally have just handgun now. I think we might have all more or less killed her. Yeah, we killed one of the chainsaw women. Ooh! That was so close! Okay, we got more TMP. Let's back away and find somewhere to reload. Alright, okay. It's fine. This is okay. This is fine. Okay, a grenade! That's what we need, yes. Right, we've got seven shots on this. Oh, no! <laughs> Didn't see you coming! Oh, we nearly survived that. Alright, everyone. Well, we've been at it for a little while now. Played a bunch of Wii U games. Played one of my favourite games of all time. Um, and I hope I've explained a bit about why I'm leaving Game Explain. And, uh... Hopefully you understand that, and tomorrow I can I can properly announce what I'm doing. But yes, uh, be like rest assured, I'm not leaving the industry. I'm I'm still gonna be talking about games all the time. I'll still put out bad opinions. I'll sometimes put out a good opinion, very rarely. Sometimes though. But yeah, thank you for tuning in for this. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Maybe I'll do more of these in the future, but I guess we'll see. So yeah, anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all tomorrow, maybe. So yeah, anyway, guys, see you later. Bye.